right guys today's video is going to be all about the pleaser and the vacillator core pattern otherwise known as the fearfully anxious and the preoccupied anxious attachment style all right you guys welcome back thank you for joining me today my name is sandy licensed a marriage family therapist if you're new here please hit the subscribe button and if you feel this content is relatable to someone you know please consider sharing now let's get into today's video so i want to go over today two ways for the pleaser two ways for the vacillator to improve their skills and um, learn to overcome this this pattern that can be destructive okay so just to review and recap last video about this core pattern uh, you know pleasers have been trying to please others their whole life and when they meet the vacillator and pleases the vacillator the vacillator is over the moon thrilled with the pleasers efforts um, vacillators feel loved and attuned to and really special with the pleaser in the beginning stages this is the initial attraction um, and the pleaser feels really thrilled with the vacillators approval of their efforts so everybody's winning here in the beginning however as time goes on um, as as the relationship continues the pleaser cannot keep up with the vacillators idealized expectations and views of a relationship and starts to make mistakes or starts to be forgetful and starts to maybe um, not show up in the the way they used to in the beginning and then the vacillator will start to get agitated and begin to realize that the pleaser is is sort of transactional or doing this to please them and it's not necessarily always genuine and the pleaser uh, i'm sorry the vacillator might get upset about this so that just to remember that's the that's the um sort of the the chase scene that happens with these two people so i i do want to talk about ways that they both can overcome this starting with the pleaser so the first skill for the pleaser is to learn with your vacillator to be honest just to be honest about how you're feeling and using direct language versus going around the world pleasers tend to go circular and um, sugarcoat things or you know use flowery language to disguise an issue a lot of times when I'm dealing with pleasers um, they're, they're telling me something but it's very wordy and very explaining overly explaining and I'm, I'm trying to understand and focus on like what is the point here so learn to be more direct and very honest with how you feel about something and let the vacillator know in a respectful but honest way okay the second skill for the pleaser really important skill it takes some practice and some advanced um, experience so you want, really want to practice on this one but the second skill is to learn to really encourage um, information so that you can validate the vacillator instead of just placating or peasing or telling them what they want to hear instead really try to um, increase empathy and validate their emotions versus doing nice things for them to make the anger or the disappointment go away instead try to understand why the vacillator has these feelings versus try to point out the positives or try to find a solution instead sit in the messy feelings with the vacillator try to understand them and then validate them the right for them to have the emotions and you should you should get a different response from the vacillator I, I i'm sure that the typical response from the vacillator is more agitation um because um pleasers don't validate very well but when you do this what i'm telling you to do is to validate slow down and really try to understand the vacillator you will see that the vacillator is very content and satisfied with this okay so let's move on to the vacillator skill number one the skill number one for the vacillator is to learn to when you when you have a complaint or um, a concern with your your pleaser partner learn to reassure up front instead of leading with negativity like the vacillator normally does vacillators go straight in they come in hot with the problem in a sort of a negative kind of way sort of a fearful alarming type of way and instead of doing that replace that with reassurance that hey pleaser we're gonna be okay we're good as a couple 
I'm just having some feelings right now. I have a concern about our relationship. I have a concern about something you said or did, and I want to talk about that, but we're good. We can get through this. If you do that reassurance up front versus leading with negativity, the pleasers, anxiety, and nervous system can calm down, and now they can focus. Because if you don't do this, if you don't do the reassurance up front, the whole time the pleaser is the high possibility that they're not even listening to you because they're so concerned that you're about to break up with them or tell them um, that they're horrible or something like that. So they're waiting for the bad news and they are not listening to your content. So lead with reassurance so that they can fully hear you. Okay, make sense? Okay, so here is the second skill for the vacillator when they're in the dance with the pleaser here. Um, the second skill is to learn to be direct with your needs. Um, instead of hoping that your pleaser just figures it out, if you haven't learned by now, they're not gonna figure it out. They need direction, all right? So just get rid of this idealistic notion that your partner is your soulmate and they're just gonna figure it out. If they loved you, they should know what to do. No, forget it. That doesn't work. That's not realistic in a relationship. Instead, really um, get into this mindset of reality that my partner needs me to give them ideas of what I need. So I need to know what I need as a vacillator and tell it to them and request it versus demand it or hope they just figure it out, okay? I know you vacillators know what I'm talking about because you want your partner to just get you and read your mind, but they cannot, especially a pleaser, they can't do it. So help them out, tell them what you need and, and do it in a very, reassuring and calm respectful way and they will be glad to do it all right maybe one day eventually over time after we settle this down the pleaser will pick up on what you like and don't like and they will surprise you and and try to make you happy that way but in the beginning when you're really trying to learn how to deal with um your pleaser partner you must tell them what you need all right so thank you for watching um that's all i have for this dynamic this couple the pleaser and the vacillator the fearfully anxious and the preoccupied anxious and um try these things out let me know how it goes um, i'd be happy to make another video with more skills if you need to but just let me know all right until next time aloha